And during the day at the office, boys. You all right, Digger? Don't try to turn around in here with them big 12-footers. Oh, I got it. Don't let it hit you in the nuts. With only a few weeks left in the season, three Tennessee Shiners have a plan to finish strong. They must eat their Wheaties. It's warmed up again today, but we can't count on that. We got to make arrangements for this mice to stay warm. But we set ourselves a very lofty goal this season. 900 gallons. We've not met our goal yet, but we have a big order for 100 gallons for the rye apple moonshine. This is the biggest single order that Digger and I have ever had. If we can achieve this before winter, we'll hit 900 gallons. We may have to use a couple of these barrels for saw horses. Yeah. Let's put them right here and get them pretty level. But cool weather's coming, so we'd come up with something to keep our mash insulated and warm for these last few weeks of cold weather. Need some help. Just pray for us, JB. No, I'll do that. About time for new blade, ain't it, Daddy? No. Well, I'm telling you, you don't need to let that saw kick out on you and cut a finger off out here. I ain't carrying that thing in my mouth all the way out of here just to keep it moist. We're gonna build a big box, insulate it with straw. If we can keep our mash at 70, 75 degrees, we can get it cooked off. When temperatures drop below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, the yeast and mash goes dormant and fermentation stops. To keep the mash warm and the yeast working during colder weather, Mark and Digger are building a barrel crib. It consists of a box capable of holding five barrels of mash. Once in the box, the barrels will be surrounded with damp packed hay, then covered with heat retaining foil insulation. Due to the presence of microorganisms, the hay will begin to decay, which will in turn generate enough heat to keep the barrels of mash warm through the approaching autumn nights. Well, the old timers, we used to dig holes back in the bank and put the barrels and then put dirt in front of them. This is called groundhogging. It helped the heat pretty good. You know what this is? We've just made a damn playpen for JB. Bring my toys. We bring him that jar of liquor for a pacifier. Hell, he'll be good to go on it. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk more work, boys. We're burning daylight. <laughs> 